Hi guys, it's Grace. I haven't seen you in a long time. I haven't done many YouTube videos in quite a while. Um, but today I'm going to be trying to tell you about my dream that I had recently. Um, I think it's a sign from God. It's a really interesting dream. I don't remember much about it, but I do remember some of it and what I remember I wrote down um, so that I could explain it to you guys and look back to it and just remember it, you know, a little bit. I don't remember really what happened and I just remember the aspects of it. Okay, so I'm going to just read from my computer. Sorry. Um, I remember that my hair became a living organism. Like it has a skull and a spine and string attached to it, a forest that came from it, and a fungus that grew in it. There was a character somewhere in the dream named Luke. I don't remember what happened in the dream, just the things in it, as I said before. While Luke was appearing in the dream, two numbers kept repeating in my mind. The numbers 15 and 13. Now, I'll explain all of this um, after I finish saying the dream. And I did finish. Yeah, that was, that was literally it. Yeah. Okay. Now to break it down. So... Um, you guys understand what I'm going for and what, what I think it means. And honestly, it really convicted me when I figured out what it actually meant. Remember how my hair had all those things in it? The first thing I saw was a skull. I did some research on the things that were in on, on my hair, and the skull symbolizes danger and death. The next thing was my spine. I couldn't find any dream symbolism for a spine specifically, but I found something that related to bones. It stated that broken bones, which makes sense as there was a string attached to it, which means it needed guiding, um, was not working right and was broken. Signifies, it also signifies that there was a weakness in my plans or thinking. So inside my hair, there was a forest and growing fungus. It was really weird in my mind. I could see like the trees and birds flying around in my hair and then fungus in my hair as well. It was really weird. Um, so I looked it up and a forest expresses that I have become lost or in, 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 am in danger. I cannot speak English today. And the fungus means two things. One, that negative emotions have started to take root. Probably negative emotions against myself and indulging in it. And two, that I have become neglecting certain aspects of my well-being. Now for what my hair symbolizes. So the first thing I thought of when I thought of my hair was my soul. Because I love my hair. Um, it's, it's not the best hair in the world. But I love my hair and it's a really strong part of me. It makes me who I am. Like, look how long this is. Um, but there's also another thing I thought of. Um, it, I looked it up, and hair usually means a strong sex drive, seduction, sensuality, and vanity, as well as confusion. The last thing to look at is the idea of Luke in the numbers 15 and 13. My mind automatically goes towards the Bible. Therefore, it would be Luke 15, 13, which is actually the prodigal son story. Um, this story starts in 11, and I'll read it now. This is the parable of the prodigal son. It starts in Luke 15, 11. And he said, There was a man who had two sons, and the father of the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the property that is coming to me. And he divided his property between them. Not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took a journey into the far country. And there he squandered his property in reckless living. And when he had spent everything, a severe famine arose in that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him to the, into the fields to feed pigs. And he was longing to be fed with the pods that the pigs ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of the father's hired servants have more than enough bread? But I perish here with hunger? I will rise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. 
I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring quickly the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring him the fattened calf and kill it and let us eat and celebrate for this is this my son was for this my son was dead and is alive again he was lost and is found and they began to celebrate now his older son was in the field and he had came and drew near to the house he heard music and dancing and he called one of his servants and asked what these things meant and he said to him your brother has come and your father has killed the fattened calf because he has received him back safe and sound but he was angry and refused to go in his father came out and entreated him but he answered to his father look these many years i have served you and i never disobeyed your command yet you never gave me a young goat that might i celebrate with my friends but when this son of yours came who has devoured your property with prostitutes you killed the fattened calf for him and he said to him son you are always with me and all that is mine is yours it was fitting to celebrate and be glad for this your younger brother was dead and is alive he was lost and is found now to summarize this parable the father gave his sons part of his property including riches and the younger son wasted all of it on luxury partying and immoral things due to the famine in that country he got hired to feed pigs and was so hungry he ate some of the pigs food he then realized that if he were to help and work with his father he um father he would have enough to eat and more so the younger son went back to his father and planned to apologize and accept that he was no longer worthy to be his son but while he was still a ways away from his father's home, his father ran out and embraced him. His father told his servants to prepare a celebration to give the son new clothes and everything that comes with a party as well. The father said to the the father also said, "My son is dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found." The story shows that no matter how far gone you are with wasting your life. That if you come back to your Heavenly Father, you'll be overjoyed and welcome you back. No matter how much bad you do, God will always love you. When I finished all my research about this dream, it really hit home. My dream pointed out that I have weaknesses in my plans and what I do. That the sexually immoral things I find pleasure in are dangerous for my soul and my relationship with God. And could lead to falling from my faith and lots of bad consequences as well. These choices I have made in my life, if they continue, will lead me to be more confused and hate myself more. Thankfully, God did not forget to give me the hope through his word. The story of the prodigal son tells me that God will never abandon me and will always be with me. God wants me to turn from my ways and come back to him so I can find joy in my life again. Um, thank you guys for listening. I really hope you enjoyed this. It's isn't really what I usually do on my channel, even though I don't really use my channel much. But um, I thought that this story was really convicting to me and maybe inspiring to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll be happy to hear your comments. Thanks for watching.